<laughs> what is up everybody? Video Addict here and we have a special night. Tonight is our giveaway. Thank you. Thank you all for subscribing and thank you for entering the giveaway. It was real simple. You know, follow the steps and then you can win. So I was slacking and I have to apologize. I was not ready. I did not think it would come that y'all would get it all to pumped up that fast. But man, it went from 915 to 1015 really quick. So last night I hit a thousand and uh, already today I'm 1018. So I mean, I gained 18 in just a few hours. Uh, so here we are. I came home and I just started packing stuff and I just throwing stuff around and I've got a list of stuff and I've got <laughs> look at all this stuff all right I have a whole page and then a couple on this one now first off I have to apologize because I told y'all that I was it was gonna be about a $500 giveaway I was wrong uh, and I, and I, and that's my bad. I, I, you know, hopefully nobody has a problem with it, but, um, it actually ended up being like $678 value. So hopefully you're okay with that. Uh, you know, some people are real stickler about it. Like I only wanted $500. I'm just saying I dressed up for the occasion as I normally do for my little giveaway nights but uh let's just let's just kind of we're gonna go through this real quick and i don't want to hear anything about all oh, their cheapo items this that and other everything i got here is useful stuff all right i always say i don't care as long as it's useful so get on my page <laughs> this here is your ready man gray man pack this is a fully opened uh, backpack it's a quick open quick access whenever you're ready to go you're ready to go all right you want to see what's in here you just grab this you pull it back pull it back you got first you got quick access to everything you need inside of your bag um, it's a kind of a no frills kind of thing it's got outside pockets here you know for uh, it's got a little side pocket there from back here behind that you got a laptop area over here you got a side sleeve uh, I don't need to go over too much because a lot of you if you watched my review for battle box you know what it is so real quick we're gonna go through it all right and these are the values I did spend a lot of time on this I'm not gonna lie because I wanted to have a value uh, so you would understand what you're getting all right, so the Ready Man Pack, it's a $40 backpack. It's, it's you know, like I said, it's kind of basic, no frills, but it's a cool pack, all right? Uh, I didn't have any big tactical backpacks that I was willing to part with at this point because really I only got two of them, and I kind of need those. All right, anyway, <laughs> sorry guys, I have to keep some of this stuff, all right? All right, first thing is you have your little camp stove. Camp stove. Where is it? Okay. Camp stove, right here. Brand new uh, for Battle Box, actually. Um, they had it listed at $60. This came in their uh, number 13 new subscriber pack. I'm not going to put that in here. It takes up too much time. All right. All right, next up is going to be your Smith Optics. Right here, you have these Smith Optics. These things are too small for my head, so therefore you get to benefit from them. They are shooting glasses uh, of some sort. I don't know. I never really paid much attention to them. Once I tried them on, I realized that I looked stupid in them. So, again, my loss, your gain. I'm not going to put them in here. Don't want to crush them up. These things list for $80, okay? All these prices are what they're listed at, okay? I didn't go on eBay and search all this crap. So, let's just call it what it is and don't beat me up on it. <laughs> like I beat up all them other boxes. All right, 
Next thing is the K-Bar TDI. Okay, that's this little bad boy right here. Y'all gonna love this, all right? This here is a, basically a tactical Mantis knife. <laughs> but this right here is listed on their website at $55 on K-Bar's website. This is a awesome, awesome thing. I had this actually on my tactical vest, uh, but I did receive a new Mantis style knife that I liked a lot more. Um, so congratulations. All right, we'll throw that in there. All right, next is your folding shovel. This right here, they had it lift, listed for 24 bucks. I would say 10 to 15, but you know, it's really nice. You know, it comes in a little pouch here. It has a little compass on the end of it. It's a pretty nice little shovel. It's an entrenching tool also. It's small, it's compact. You'll like it. All right, multiple uses, small and compact. That's very key. All right, next up is belt sleeve. Now this is one thing that I really kind of went off on because I don't, I don't really see the point of it in a survival box. Oh, it's right here on top. But it's just a belt sleeve. You put it over your, you put your belt through it and then you can stick a knife in it and it'll hold your knife in place. It just, you know, it's a concealed kind of thing. You can store some money in it. Like if you're going through a bad neighborhood, stick your money in here. That way if they take your wallet, you still got your money. All right, boom. Next up is your M48 uh, ammo pouch. This right here is just a little bit ammo pouch. Stick it on anything when you're going to the range. Uh, nothing real fancy, you know, but it is very, very handy to have. Uh, you know, it's a $7 item. Um, it's a great little thing to have with you. All right, carabiner mode. Ha! This is just because it was sitting there and I'm not gonna use it because that's like not my size. I mean, I it needs to be, uh, I always say lander size since my last name is lander. It needs to be lander size for my convenience. This just looks odd to me. So there you go. That'll go in there. <laughs> uh, maybe it will. It's a carabiner, I'll clip it on somewhere. All right. All right, you got some little frou-frou stuff, a little multi-ring carabiner set, uh, waterproof matches, very, very important. You got two packages of them in there. Those are good items to have. Uh, let's see, the Black Legion handsaw. You know, I've got so many of these that I just figured why not pass them to somebody that could use them. Uh, really nice handles on these and it's never been used but uh, like I said I have so many of them and I have so, I have one that I like a little bit better than this one so I don't need it there you go next up is your cleats for those of you that may live in a cold environment these stretch over the bottoms of your shoes and the toe of your shoe there and then over your heel and then you have cleats like if it's icy, winter coming up, congratulations, you win. <laughs> Next is the pocket stove. This right here is an awesome little item. Came in the battle box, uh, camp shelf box. And right there, you get you a little butane tank that fits that opening. Boom, you get a little igniter here, a little start button. And this is your gas control on the side. Very, very cool uh, item. I don't need this because I have way too many stoves as it is, um, and I don't see any situation where I would need this, but it's good if you're a hiker or whatever. There you go. Uh, all these little items, are all, they're not much. I mean, the little pouch was $7, carabiner mug, $6, ring carabiner, $3, waterproof matches, $5, Black Legion handsaw. They have it listed at $13, I probably say, you know, eight bucks whatever cleats five dollars pocket stove twelve dollars next up is this this is really actually pretty funny to me all right this is a tactical pin from one tech.com i forget what box i got this in but i remember laughing hysterically about it because of the value they put on it this here you know you got your little light here on the end pretty cool it's a well-written, it's a well-writing well, well, well writing pen. I wrote this whole list with it. 
while I was doing all this. You got your glass breaker. Um, I have two other tactical pins. I don't, you know, I didn't need it. I do have, it does come with an extra ink there and two extra batteries for the flashlight. On their website, they list this at $56. All right, $56, but they say that it's marked down from $224. That's insane. I don't know what the hell's up with that, but uh, most types of pins go for around 30 bucks. So we'll just call it that. Uh, next thing is cables. This right here, gentlemen, give it to your women or your kids. I, I'm not gonna wear the pink cables. Uh, give, give a Christmas gift, whatever you wanna do with it. St stocking stuffers, I don't know. Uh, those are nine bucks on the, on, on the website. Uh, next up, we have this survival poncho, sleeveless poncho. This right here, it's kinda like that mylar silver material, so it also acts as a reflective kinda mirror to signal, what have you. Cool little item. I have so many ponchos, I don't need any more. Uh, you know, these are a lot of filler items. I'm filling you up. I want to make sure you get plenty of stuff to do. All right, they have that four bucks. Uh, got a little multi tool here. Like I said, fillers here. Uh, you know, that you got all your little basic multi tool items. It's small. It's compact. I've got this in my pack. I've got a couple of them in different packs. And I have actually been in a position where I didn't have a screwdriver or something like that. And these things actually came in handy. So never doubt that you will use that. And it's so small, it takes up no room. All right. Next up is your... Well, we jumped way ahead here. Because I got the cable and bungee. All right. Multi tool, I said like four bucks. Um, yeah, we jumped from the tactical pin, we jumped way down. All right, survival grenade right here. This right here has all of those items in it, if you can see them. All right, I have one of these. It's really, really freaking awesome. Um, or at least I assume that it will be since I've never opened mine, but it's cool to know that it's there if I do so ever need it. All right. After that, we have the survival straw. Okay, this survival straw is another one of those things, man. Okay, I've never seen a survival straw actually cost $139, but on their website, it has $139 marked through, like it's a discounted rate, and then down to $35. Now, this does have some pretty good reviews from what I saw, but in all honesty, I've only heard of life straw is the primary go-to, but I do know that these guys are kind of making a big little stink out there. And uh, $35, I think they're gonna be in trouble whenever life straws are going for like $19.99. But, you know, I don't know what all else it does that makes it $35. That's their deal. All right, next up is this little bad boy. Uh, phone charger, nine volt. It, I, it has a plug that plugs into your iPhone or Android, and you can charge your phone with a nine volt battery. Pretty cool idea. I have so many little portable little storage, battery storage things that, you know, I don't see, I don't have any need for it. All right, this is a, uh, okay. This right here is the Bushmaster knife. This right here comes from SHTF, CH Cadells. This is not a frills knife. This thing is a cheap knife. It's 20 bucks on their website, but this thing is sharp as all get out. I mean, it holds a good edge. And these little serrated spline here, that thing is very freaking sharp. So this is gonna be a beater knife. This is what you get out there and you do some nasty work with. But I have, so many of these. This one, I just haven't used yet, and I wanted to make sure I could give y'all uh, a good, clean, unused knife uh, for just a beater knife. Everybody should have a beater knife that you can just do nasty, dirty work with. So, we're actually gonna put that on the outside of here. 
just filling this bag. All right, that's the Bushmaster knife, twenty dollar value. You got a little sling here. It's just a camouflage rifle sling. Um, you have to get the little whatever and the size that you're slinging in or the size of your gun, whatever. I don't have any more of them. <laughs> I have them all on my guns, but uh, it's a brand new, it was just, it was in there. Like I said, you'll get a sling because I got just a bunch of them sitting up there. A lot of them up there, I have two turkey carriers, which I don't really know if anybody would want that. So it's kind of one of those things like, there's probably a lot of stuff in here that whoever you are that wins, you probably ain't gonna use a lot of this stuff. But you can give it away to people too. Why don't you have a giveaway? Maybe I can win. <laughs> All right. Uh, sling is like 10 bucks. Smith's sharpener. This right here is to sharpen your knives. Okay. This is from Smith's. It's actually, uh, you know, it's $10. I think it's $9.99 on their website. But I think everybody should have a knife sharpener of some sorts. And just in case you don't have one, you got something. All right, now, cleanse oil. If you're watching this, hopefully you have guns, you know, or at least you believe in them, uh, or have somebody that does. This right here is cleanse oil. This stuff is really good. It cleans, it lubricates your firearms whenever you're doing cleanings and whatnot. Uh, it's a good little, little spray bottle, two ounces, you know, cool little item. Uh, lives for seven bucks on their website, pretty nice stuff. I uh, received that, I believe, in a sportsman's box twice. So, a little bit goes a long way, too. That's why I still, I don't need that one, because I still have like three quarters of the other bottle. Next up is this OST wrench, which I talked about yesterday whenever I received it in my tack pack. Um, I have so many of these wrenches that I didn't see the need to keep it. You know, it's a AR wrench, whatnot, but yeah, that's going in here. Probably, yeah, that'll be fine. All right, next up is your sling saddle. This right here is an item that I was a little bit unsure about, but I think it has a lot to do with my size. You know, it just doesn't fit me right, so I think if it goes to a smaller person that maybe they can have some luck with it. I like the idea of it. It just didn't work for me. It kind of dug into my collarbone just because of the way that made my sling pull on it but for a smaller person it might work better and therefore congratulations it's a $25 value on their website um, all right all right right here this is a camping lantern with a solar mobile charger it has a solar panel on it that you can charge your mobile device. You plug it into this and boom. It's one of those little accordion style. It's really, really awesome. This is really, really cool. I have like eight of them. I bought like a, I bought like a few of them and then they ended up sending me like a whole case of them by mistake. And whenever I contacted them, they said, don't worry about it because they come from China because I got it on Wish. Uh, it would have cost more for them to pay for to ship it back than it than what they cost. Uh, you know, little four or five dollar items, you know, whatnot. Good, freaking fantastic light. I'm not gonna lie. All right, that. Uh, what else do I got? All right, I do have some like little stuff here. I'm giving you a little little gun sleeve there for your bullet. Hold your ammo on the butt stock of your gun. Uh, Hopefully you get a use out of that. Um, I am sending you a couple hand warmers and a couple toe warmers. Fall is coming, congratulations. These are not even on the list. These are just me throwing crap in a box. Uh, this ain't all the thing, but it's a tick remover. Them suckers, I got so much tick stuff. This is for you. And if you want to, you can, call, you can send it in to be tested. So, that's up to you. That seems really a lot of work to just I'm not that curious about ticks. Alright, I actually have a couple of little screw-in hooks here from Hunting Specialties. You know, you can, you can use them. I got so many of them. Uh, congratulations to you. You're getting this salmon uh, jerky stick. Alright, that's that. Uh, 
Yeah. Little ready to eat meals, MREs. I don't think y'all need those. I might need those one day. I don't know. This right here. This is a cool, cool item, all right? And this here, yes, it came from Alpha Outpost. <laughs> this here is a cleaning rack for like a small game, like rabbit and small animals. This thing is very well built, actually, oddly enough. But with the one that I got from CRKT and uh, Hunt Vault, I don't need this. And I don't see any situation where I'd use it. Plus, I don't do a lot of small game hunting. So, therefore, you know, I just decided I would throw this in with this. If you don't hunt or anything, I'm sorry. You can give it away to somebody that does. No hard feelings. Again. I don't have any more room in the bag. Let's open up this, because you're getting this too. This is the M48 little, uh, what do they call this thing? The M48 Ops Pack. Uh, it's just a $15 little pack. Holds a lot of, you know, has a lot of little different compartments. You can fill up, make it a med pouch. You know, you have your outside, you got some mollies, straps and webbing, you got end pockets there. You can wear it across your shoulder. You can actually wear it across your waist if you decide to make it like a waist fanny pack, however you want to do that. Uh, we'll put your little carabiner mug in there for now. Um, I live in Louisiana, so I didn't see why I shouldn't send you some Mardi Gras beads. And these are Jägermeister. Uh, I don't drink it anymore. And honestly, I don't like it. It's reminding me about what life was like then because it was not good. Uh, I think everyone should have a flask, so no matter who you are, man, woman, child, whatever. Uh, this here I got out of a uh, Firefly Geek Crate, and I uh, have so many flasks as it is, but right here, this will uh, fill it up with your fa favorite little cocktail, and it will keep you warm during the winter. You know, you can say what you want to, but when the SHTF happens, you're going to want some alcohol. Even if it's just for the first day, that's when you're really gonna need it. <laughs> All right, um, right here, you're gonna get this. Why? America is why. That's why. All right. Did you America today? I did. Boom. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna send you this. Make sure you put it somewhere. Keep it in sight. Show people. Remind them that that flag is important. All right. Now, okay. You got all your stuff here. You got this whole bag is just freaking stuff, boys, girls, whoever wins. I don't want to put your sunglasses in there. I'm going to have to find a way to pack all this. Boy, that was fast. Oh, boom. Right here, you're gonna get this uh, mesh hat from uh, Battle Box came in. Right here, you can slap a patch on the front or you can just keep it America. All right, that right there. Boom, we'll do that. That way whenever you open it up, the first thing you'll see is America. All right. Uh, what else did I say here? Right here, Vortex Beanie. That's not on the list either. See, this is just this is just throwing money at you. Just throwing money at you. I'm not sending y'all minions. You don't get any of the minions. Uh, I've not showed you any of the geek stuff. That's gonna be a surprise for whenever you get it. If you are a large adult male, as I am, and you wear a 3X, let me know, and I will make sure to get you a couple of cool little t-shirts, because uh, I got a bunch of them. <laughs> and if you have a specific geek something you like, let me know that too, because I can probably fill that order. All right. Hmm. I'm missing something. I was going through all these different things, like 
that you might want <laughs> this little wicked thing here. That's a wicked little blade. But I kind of like it. It's actually got a really nice sheath for a cheapo knife. It's like the sheath is worth like twice what the knife is because it's all leather and it's like hard bound leather. I mean, that's kind of crazy. Uh, I didn't give you paracord. I figured you should have enough and it's not that expensive. Uh, da, 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 da. I got all this, 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 this. What else did I, am I, am I missing? Oh, ha! I bet y'all are like, James, James, wake up, the knife, James, the knife you promised, James, <laughs> where is it? I gave you a few. This is the knife that I've decided to let go of. This was a very difficult decision. You know how weird it is to go through all your knives and just be sitting there and be like, no, I like that one. No, I like that one. No, I like that one. Knowing that I can't use that many knives all at the same time, but and I and and it's almost never gonna happen that I'm gonna like alternate through days or what have you because I have my favorites. But this was a difficult one, and the only reason, and even even it was hard with the fact that I have two of them. <laughs> I have two of them. I did not want to give one away. This here. And I know you've seen it. Is the Bastion <laughs> carbon fiber ceramic blade knife. This thing is awesome. I know you've seen me using it. I did. I bought a second one because I was afraid that something might happen to this one uh, or that one. And I don't, man, I just, I love it. It's a great knife. It's so freaking light and it's pretty smooth once you get the kind of. Uh, Get it worked in a little bit. Maybe splash some of that cleanse oil on it. It'll work on this too. Not just guns. But uh, this one probably, this is still new. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're going to love this knife. It is a, I think it was $92. So 92 plus tax, you're right at 100. Uh, yeah, I was trying to think of something and I just couldn't let go of some of those other knives. I couldn't do it. And this one was hard, because I did. I bought a second one, <laughs> specifically in case something happened to my other one. But I bought a whole other box, so therefore I got all this stuff. But, oh man. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't wanna put it in the bag. I don't wanna put it in the bag. Oh. Where did I put it? There's a little safe spot for it right there. All right. And that, as they say, is that. That was, uh, that was a rough one, man. I don't, you know, it's hard, man, giving away stuff whenever you've done so much time. But you relive, you relive, you relive it as you're going through all that, you know, and you're trying to find stuff that you think someone else will enjoy and that you're not using. You know, a lot of this stuff, the only reason I'm giving it away is because I have other things that I like better than that. Like that stuff, you know, it's not useful to me, but that doesn't mean it ain't gonna be useful to you. Just like I say in most of my videos, just because I don't like it and it's not useful to me doesn't mean that it's not useful to somebody. That's why I don't always just really bash on something. It's like, oh man, I don't, I don't want this. I don't want it because I don't. I have something better, or I have something different that I like better. But um, you know, hopefully you'll find a place for that. This is a cool pack too. I actually like this because you can reach all the way through this back in right there. So you can do some cool stuff with this. Cool little pack here. Cool little pack here. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I might have to get a big box. And then we're going to put this all together. And uh, then I got your geek stuff over there. Uh, so you'll get a nice surprise there. Again, if you have a certain t-shirt, if you like a geeky thing like that, and you're a big guy, like I said, I only have three X's. So you're going to have to deal with, if, you got, if you're a big guy, I'll hook you up. Uh, 
You can ask my friend over there at, uh, dang it. Learning to Survive, I believe it is. But he's, he's, uh, I said, he, he said, I'd love that shirt. And I said, well, send me your address. He's like, are you serious? I said, sure, why not? And he's like, man. And then I sent him like 10 of them. <laughs> I sent him like 10 shirts. He got it and he's like, what? <laughs> he messaged me. He's like, man, I didn't know I wasn't expecting all that. And I was like, no problem. <laughs> what are they doing for me but sitting in there? That doesn't mean I'm going to send them out to everybody. I'm just saying, I don't mind every once in a while. And I need to probably do some stuff like that with the geek stuff. But most of my people will like this stuff. So, now that you know what's in the bags and in the giveaway, I guess we should probably get to the giveaway. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give away, we'll, just, we'll start with mine, right? So the winner will get those two bags, this thing, the sunglasses, and all the geek stuff that I have over there. Uh, I will ship it to you. I will cover the shipping. That's, I don't see no... I, I've seen people do giveaways where they actually... Be like, you have to cover cover the shipping. I'm like, that's just stupid. Number of unique comments, 166. That's unique. That's not how many there was. There was like a lot. I spent a couple hours the other day reading all of them. Um, I do read all the comments. <laughs> now, how that's going to go throughout all of it, it's, we'll see how it goes. The more I get, the more, you know, it's hard, but I do try and do it as much as I can. So if you commented more than once, you only got one entry. That's it. All right. And we will start. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, the great outdoors. Okay, hey man, I love what you're doing. I just found your channel, and from what I see, I love it. You're great at what you do, and if I <laughs> and if I don't win, you can count on me to stay in and be a long follower. Your content is great, and you are a real person. Hard to find these days, but hey, thanks for the opportunity, and looking forward to more great videos. God bless. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, if you're going to win, you got to win like that. Holy crap. <laughs> That's fantastic, man. Uh, makes me, that touches me. That makes me, that's touching. <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. All right. The great outdoors. It means a lot, man. I love the comments. I love the comments. That's why I spent two hours reading all of them the other night. Uh, you know, I know eventually we're, I'm going to get too big to where it's going to be hard to read every comment. Because there's a lot of y'all. And I appreciate it. And I will always, if I don't answer you, send it again. <laughs> that way, I'll, maybe I'll answer one time. Oh, man. Man. That's special, dude. That is special. I, that's you know, that's that's what you that's what you that's what you hope for. That's what you hope you're doing when you're. I mean, it seems cheesy, like dude, you're doing unboxing videos. It ain't that deep of a thing, but you know, it's nice to hear that stuff. Great outdoors! Congratulations, you have won all my crap. <laughs> you're gonna get this full of stuff and that other bag full of stuff. Some geeky stuff. Uh, you got this here. You got some sunglasses from Smith Optics. Uh, so, congratulations. Thanks for watching. Glad you found me. Uh, there we go. That's all I got for that one. Uh, next up is Hunt Vault Elite. Hunt Vault Elite. Oh, my God. Everybody's excited about this one. I think people were really excited about getting some stuff out of my room. 
But I'm really excited for one of y'all to get this Humble Out Elite. Uh, I hope that it's someone who doesn't already get it because that will that will mean that will mean a lot because you can you can you can you can see what you've been missing. <laughs> they're like, then you're gonna cost me more money because then I'm gonna want to get it every month, probably. I'm gonna paste it in, look it up. Look it up. <laughs> 167 unique comments. All right. We're going to go over here. And we're going to start. Jason Phillips is the winner. I'm glad you found you a few months ago. I started my Tack Pack sub because of your unboxings. And I see how the stuff starts to overrun your space. I got to ask though, what in the world is in that VHS tape holder in your stuff room? Laugh out loud. Had the same one 20 years ago. Well, Jason, uh, when I lived in California, and I was living out in Hermosa Beach, California, before my dad got sick and I moved back home, uh, you know, he was living here and this is an upstairs downstairs house and uh it's my house my dad got it for me whenever i was in college he wanted me to always have somewhere to live so i do you know and he uh he was living here while i was out of out of state and whenever i moved back home we he were we were renting out the downstairs and uh i was living with my dad you know and i'm i was 31 32 at the time uh, and it's a little, it's a little, it's a little problematic. And, uh, so whenever the downstairs tenant moved out, I was like, dad, you got to go. So he moved downstairs and now I live upstairs by myself. And, um, he left some stuff behind <laughs> and he just won't get it. And I can't throw it away because it's got his old submarine movies and black and white movies. Uh, my man Flint and all kinds of crap like that. And, uh, yeah, I'm not about to throw that away. Even though he don't even have a VHS player anymore, the wrath that would come down on me for throwing those away. But that's the story of that, uh, just to fill you in. But congratulations, Jason Phillips. You have won the uh, Hunt Vault Elite. So get in contact with me and I will get with you and get your address and everything. All right. And I will send you, why don't you, we'll just do this. A lot of people have been asking for my email and I thought I've, I thought I had it to where you could see it, but my email is video addict YT for YouTube at gmail.com so that's v-i-d-e-o a-d-d-i-c-t y-t at yah not yahoo at gmail.com alright so that's how you get in touch with me holy crap wait a minute James Young dude me and you James Young me and you gotta hook up. Seriously. I I told you it's crazy because so many comments and I've been scanning through them and I thought I read them all, but I I didn't. Holy crap. <laughs> Here's what it comes down to. I have no or I have no feelings towards the cowboy towards your cowboys. However, my wife loves them. We are from Southern Ohio and love the Buckeyes, i.e. Ezekiel Elliott. Never, nonetheless, your video on your first Hunt Vault Elite is the reason my wife is getting me a yearly subscription to Hunt Vault. Now this may seem like a kiss-ass comment, but it's a God's honest truth. And also, I had invited you to Ohio in another video you posted and never got an answer. I'm sorry. 
I have 133 acres in southern Ohio, and I do invite you to come up next year during the rut and hunt. Let me know, and we can work out the details. But thank you for convincing my wife either way. Sir, you are very welcome, and I will take you up on that. There is no, I got goosebumps because that is kind of like a dream of mine because I've seen like hunts on TV in Ohio and you know, some of them upper states. It's just, I don't know anybody in those states that, you know, that will let you come hunt for free or whatever and not try and get you to pay $10,000 to kill big buck. But if you're offering, I'm glad to come up there. We'll do some videos. We'll do some hunting. I, I, I'm sure me and you are right there, buddy. I, I hate to be so overly excited, but man, that's freaking awesome. That really excites me. Uh, also, it would further... Oh, he commented it again. Hold up. Also, it would further to solidify me purchasing the Hunt Vault Elite if you, Video Addict, was invited to... Invited by Hunt Vault to put together a special Video Addict Hunt Vault Elite Special Edition box. <laughs> How freaking cool would that be? Hell, you get all these boxes and you're pretty much just an average guy like the, all of us. So <laughs> you'd know just what to put in the box. I'd pay $200 for that box. That's right, Hunt Vault Elite. I could, I could, man, I, I, I would like to think that I could, I could do pretty good at that, but man, I don't, I, I can't take nothing away from Jackie and them, man, they, Hunt Vault is killing it, and man, jump on that train and ride it out, because I, I feel like there, there's no stopping them, man, I mean, they got, they're the right kind of people, man, they're, they're hunters, you know, I mean, Jackie, you know, she's out there hunting. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, you just don't see it much very often. And, you know, so you know that she's into it. She's got it. She's got that bug. And her whole family does. So it's it's awesome. Uh, they're just good people, man. I'm, I'm freaking excited about them every month. And uh, I should be having Hunt Vault Elite arrive any day now. I asked her yesterday. I was like, where's it at? She's like, on its way. Back to Jason Phillips. I'm going to write this dude's name down too. Wait, where's he at? James Young. <laughs> James Young. Boy, me and you. Y'all have to understand. I started hunting about, uh, what, 2009? So, I'm not, I've never hunted anything big, really. I mean, if you watch my videos of the deer I killed earlier this year, um, I'll actually try and put, a video insert into this one or I might just make a separate video I'll just do that and uh, you know these things I've never hunted you know the the bigger game you know I've never been on an elk hunt never been on anything like that exotic I just I love the peace and quiet and the relaxing nature of it I love the uh, the camaraderie I have with my buddy Jay, we spend a lot of time out there just, you know, bull crapping around. Uh, I like hanging out with the people at the lease, you know. I mean, there's a lot of older guys, you know, right there, and they're out there telling their stories. I love all that, you know. I love listening to that stuff, you know. That's stuff that, you know, you can't ever, I mean, it's just, it's rare these days to get those kind of relationships with people. And, and hunting does it, man. It brings these people together. It brings them out there. I do love it. And I would love the opportunity to do something like that, James. I appreciate you. Uh, that's, a, that's a very, very generous offer, and thank you. Congratulations right away to the Great Outdoors and Jason Phillips uh, on winning Great Outdoors. You won my stash. And Jason Phillips, you won the Hunt Vault Elite box. Um, I think I think it's been awesome, man. I think that I think that I came up with some good stuff. I hope y'all think so too. And uh, you know, we'll just keep on going. Uh, I didn't really put much of a dent in the room in there, but you know, <laughs> some of it's gone anyway. All right, so. 
that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. Uh, keep on watching and commenting and being interactive. Uh, that's what I love. That's what I find that this is for. Uh, don't just comment with me, you know, comment on other people. That's kind of, we can just all be like a big family. I like it. All right. I'm having so much fun, y'all. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Subscribe. I'm out of here.